Hello and welcome. This video is going to cover some theorems regarding the cauchy riemann equations, complex differentiability, analytic and holomorphic functions, and lastly something about entire functions. And I will also make examples for each theorem, just to make sure you understand it. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first theorem is about the cauchy riemann equations and tells us that if a function is differentiable at a point in the complex plane, then the cauchy riemann equations, which are the following relations between the partial derivatives of the functions u and v, must hold at the same point. And please note that the other way around is not always true, since a function is not necessarily differentiable only because it fulfills the cauchy riemann equations. We will need to add some more conditions for that to be true. And that is why we will continue with another theorem about complex differentiability, which states that a function is differentiable in a region R if and only if the following conditions are fulfilled in the region R. And the first condition is that all the partial derivatives of a function's u and v must be continuous. And the second condition is that the partial derivatives must satisfy the cauchy riemann equations. And if these two conditions are true, then the function is differentiable in this region, and the derivative is denoted with a prime, as usual, and is the following. In this example I would like us to determine if any of the following functions are differentiable, and if so, also determine its derivative. So the plan is to check if the partial derivatives of u and v are continuous and satisfy the cauchy riemann equations in any region in the complex plane, since this will make the function differentiable in this region. For the first function we have that the function u, which corresponds to the real part of the function f, is equal to x, and the function v, which corresponds to the imaginary part of the function f, is equal to minus y, which means that the partial derivatives becomes the following. Just remember while doing these calculations that the variable which you are not deriving with respect to are regarding as a constant. And now we can see that all the partial derivatives are continuous and they are continuous in the whole complex plane. But we can also see that the cauchy riemann equations are not satisfied anywhere in the complex plane. Since the partial derivative of u with respect to x cannot be equal to the partial derivative of v with respect to y anywhere on the complex plane, and therefore the function cannot be differentiable in any region in the complex plane. And if we use the same procedure for the second function here, we get that the function u is equal to x squared minus y squared and the function v is equal to 2xy, which means that our partial derivatives will become the following. And since they are polynomials, they will be continuous in the whole complex plane. The next step is to check the cauchy riemann equations. And here you can see that the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to the partial derivative of v with respect to y, and that the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to the negative of a partial derivative of v with respect to x. This is actually true everywhere in the complex plane, and therefore the cauchy riemann equations are satisfied everywhere, which makes the function differentiable everywhere. So the last step is simply to write out the derivative. And we can do that from the definition we got up here. So we can see that the derivative is simply going to become 2x plus i times 2y. And this is a completely fine answer. But some professors would like you to answer with only c's. And we can do that by using id called analytic continuation. I will most likely cover this id in another video. But for the time being I will just teach you the method. It's quite simple. The idea is that if two analytic functions are the same on some region in the complex plane, then they must be the same on the whole 
complex plane. So let's say for example that we take this function we've got here and observe it on the real value axis. Then we will get that y is equal to 0 and x is equal to c in this region. But that means that our function, the prime of f, is equal to the function 2c in this region. But that means that these two functions are the same on the whole complex plane by analytic continuation. The next theorem is about analytic functions and states that a function is analytic in a region R if it is differentiable in a neighborhood of every point in R. Note that the word neighborhood have a lot of different meanings in mathematics, but right now it simply means all the points in a circle with an infinite small radius around some point. And another good thing to know is that an analytic function fulfills all the conditions for a holomorphic function, and vice versa. So the words analytic and holomorphic in complex analysis are used interchangeably for each other. And there are even people that say that these two words are used synonyms for each other, and there are really no difference from the start. But the main thing I want to remember is that some people, some web pages and some professors use the word analytic, while others use the word holomorphic. But just keep in mind that these two things are equal in complex analysis, and you will be completely fine. I think this is really interesting, since it took me like 5, 6, 7 hours to decide which side to take while I prepared for this video. And that's why I will link you some additional reading on the subject in the description. And then I would love to hear your thoughts about the topic. Do you think they are the same words for the same thing? Or is there a difference between them? And moving on. So, if a function is analytic in a region R, then we know that the following must be true in the region. First off, we know that the derivatives of all order exists for a function. And the second thing is that the function can be represented as a power series. I will not prove this right now, but these two statements will be really useful later on in the course. So, the next theorem is about entire functions. And a function is entire if it is analytic on the whole complex plane. So, let's do another example. And in this example, I would like us to determine if any of the following functions are analytic, and if so, in what region. We know that the first function is differentiable on the whole complex plane, since we determined that in the last example. So that means that I can make a neighborhood for any point in the complex plane, and all the neighborhoods will contain points that are differentiable, right? Since everything is differentiable for a function. And this makes the function analytic on the whole complex plane, and therefore it is entire. So for our next function, we have that u is equal to x raised to the power 3 plus 3x times y raised to the power 2 minus 3x. And the function v is equal to y raised to the power 3 plus 3x raised to the power 2 times y minus 3y. And from this we can easily determine the partial derivatives for a function. So we can draw from this that all of them are continuous in the whole complex plane since they are polynomials. And the second thing we can say is that the Couch Riemann equations holds only if x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0. Since this is the only way to make the partial derivative of a u with respect to y be the opposite sign of the partial derivative of v with respect to x, since both of them would be equal to 0 if x or y is equal to 0. So from this we can draw the conclusion that the function is only differentiable on the coordinate axis in the complex plane, and therefore we cannot find a neighborhood anywhere such that the whole neighborhood is differentiable, since the function is only differentiable on the coordinate axis, and therefore the neighborhoods will always contain some points that are outside of these axes. So the conclusion we can draw is that the function is differentiable on the coordinate axis, but is analytic nowhere. Thanks for watching.